What's up guys, welcome back to another video, I hope you're all doing well today. Um, this is going to be a little bit of an out there concept, I uh, <laughs> thought uh, I haven't done a video on pit bikes since way 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 back when I first started uploading. Um, and I'd done it on, it was like an asphalt, an asphalt track what I'm saying, it was a, it's like a supermoto track, it was, it was more of like a go-karting track that got imported over so it was really small so it suited it quite well. Um, the one two, one two five. The pit bike that I'm on right now is uh, the two-stroke version, and I'm not sure what it was when they uh, made these, but for some reason the two-strokes are actually really, really fast, so they are like viable on nationals and things like that. But I thought I'd give it a go on enduro and just see how it copes. Um, I don't expect it to do well at all, to be honest. Um, I'm sure that it being such a short wheelbase is going to make it really struggle on some of the bumps and the hills, but. We will find out. That's uh, all, all we can do is experiment and try. Um, that was surprisingly stable up that hill, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, usually on, on an all bike like the big bikes, you um, you get that horrible like front wheel wiggle as you go up the massive hills, uh, just where the weight's transferred back a bit. Um, I'm wondering actually, maybe if because uh, these have nowhere near the power that the big bikes do, I'm wondering if that's almost going to work in my favour because uh, obviously the back wheel's not going to break traction at all. Um, I'm just worried about maybe doing flips at some point because it's such a short wheelbase it's quite easy to pop it up on the back wheel by mistake. Um, those of you with the keen eyes as well will see I'm running the Spongebob gear. I, uh, I, I do actually really enjoy this gear when I'm just doing silly stuff like this. Uh, oh no! Oh god. Oh god this could be where it starts going wrong. Let me quickly spin her around have another go. Um, so and this track that I'm on right now it is res number two uh, in the Resolute Enduro series. Uh, I have done this track before um, on the channel actually. I think it's when I rode the uh, Husaberg. I think it was the 300 two stroke that I rode on this track. Um, so I do have some experience on it. I, I haven't ridden it since that video, so I might need to refresh my brain a little bit. Um, how am I going to get up here? I'm going to quickly spin around. That little bump just screwed me over. Let's have a look. And uh, I thought this video would be much more enjoyable in, uh, in third person. I could have done first because it's what I'm more comfortable with, but then you don't really get to enjoy the, the pit bike in all of its glory. Um, and as uh, usual, because I know people will ask, I will put the download links to the pit bikes in the description if you've not tried them yet. Um, I think a lot of people have, but uh, I'm noticing more and more new people to the game uh, coming to the channel. So uh, welcome as well, if you have only just uh, started watching and you're new to the game. Um, these are this is just one pack that you can download and it gives you all of the, uh, the pit bikes. Uh, and there's a couple of pit bike tracks as well uh, on some of the forums and the MX Bike Mods website. So if you want to go and check those out, uh, I would recommend you do so, especially if you're playing with a, a little group of friends. Uh, ragging, ragging pit bikes around can be a, a, a bit of good fun. Um, that could actually, oh, actually, that could be a really good shout for a future stream, you know, doing pit bike racing. I'm, I'm going to have to note that down so I don't forget that'll be good. Um, I should actually be, uh, if you're watching this video on the day that it's released, I should be streaming uh, today in the afternoon, uh, depending, well, depending on what time zone you're in, afternoon for the UK, uh, might be like midday-ish uh, for the Euro Americans. Uh, I know there's people from like, all over the world uh, watching these videos now based off the analytics, so that's really cool to see. Glad we've got people from uh, here, there and everywhere. And I'm, I'm actually really pleasantly surprised how smoothly this is going so far. I've only got hung up on those two little bits once, but it was uh, that was easy enough to, to get up again afterwards after a second attempt. Um, I just, I didn't expect to be able to get up these hills so easily. I just thought I'd get to the top of these and just struggle and fall back down or whatever, but pretty smooth sailing so far. I'd even go to say as far to say that it's easier getting up these hills on this than it is on the big bikes. Um, but I, I might just put that down to power. Maybe when you're on the big bikes you try and go too fast, which is what causes the, uh, the bike to get a little bit unstable. Um, I, I honestly can't remember what sort of lap time you're looking at for this track. I'm hoping it's not too long because I only put five liters of fuel in this uh, this bad boy, and I, I don't know how quickly they use it up. I've only used 0.8 so far in about four minutes, so I think we should be okay. I mean, these um, these shorter enduro tracks where it's not the full Krakenberg enduro, it's just broken down into certain checkpoints. Um, these are like 15 minutes max. Um, when I was trying to set the world record on the the first uh, res track. <laughs> That it was just just over like seven minutes, seven and a half minutes, um, but that is with like a super super fast lap time. So, not sure what to expect on the pit bike. Um, if I remember back to when I done this part of this track last time on the uh, the Husberg 300, 
I do remember this part of the track giving me grief, like I was having to push the white clay way up, but I haven't actually pushed it once yet. I'm just uh, very, very lightly on the throttle. I don't want to just dump the throttle and go for it because I'm worried about, like, look how easily it comes up on the back wheel. Like, whoop, I've barely got to lean back at all, which is straight up there. Oh, the wee boys would love this. <laughs> don't see, I don't see the pit bikes in the trials servers much at all. Although, I don't see the pit bikes in many servers, like, ever. Uh, I suppose it's, it's a bit of a pain in the arse to see what servers accept them and what don't. And uh, I know with how how this game is, if you do try joining a server on the bike that's not allowed, is it'll throw you to the bike choosing screen and then it takes ages to load and go back and forth and yeah, it'll be a bit of a pain. But uh, it would be very nice to get a, a mass pit bike race going on at some point. Um, I might... Uh, <laughs> well, actually, uh, yesterday, so I was playing with... <coughs> couple of my uh, real life friends that uh, don't don't really play the game at all um, but managed to get them on for a bit and we was playing um, I, well I don't have a daddy and I can't actually create servers just like just host servers myself something with my internet doesn't allow other people to join me uh, so I was getting my friend to do it and he was just calling the server uh, like Linz and that was it uh, and they, they started filling up actually pretty quickly like quicker than other servers uh, would do normally so it's nice to know that my uh, my name holds that little bit of weight to it so if i would want to do something like that in the future i'll just uh just get him to throw a server up with my name on it and see how, see if people join uh, i'm sure if it said like lynn's uh, pit bike fun race enough people would hop in there to make it worthwhile so um I'm, i might just start using that power to the best of my ability in the future if i want to get some some different sort of videos going on um, because when I was kind of skimming through servers today, um, just kind of looking for an idea to do a video on, it's, you just you just kind of get the same thing over and over again. So it's like, oh, there's a full farm 14 server, or uh, there's like a forest server, and there's there's only so many ideas and concepts you can do in those. Um, so it's nice to know that I now have the the power, so to speak, to to mix it up a little bit. Um, well, and that's all thanks to you guys, I suppose, as well. Um, at the time of recording this video, I've I've hit the 4.5k mark. And I'm pretty sure if we keep up, the, up at this pace, we're going to smash the 5,000 subscriber goal that I set for the end of the year. Um, and I don't, don't even know what I want to go for after that. I suppose the next thing after 5k is probably 10k, isn't it? Uh, I was a little bit disappointed. Um, I was Googling this morning as well, and um, just the YouTube, uh, like the, the milestones, um, if that's the right word for it. So, you know, you get like the, the plaques and, and all that stuff. You get like silver, gold, diamond. And for some reason, I thought silver was 10k, but I am wrong. It's 100k. And. <laughs> Unless I'm doing this for uh, the next 10 years or so, uh, 100k is probably not going to come around anytime soon, uh, with uh, be, with the motocross community being so small. Uh, I mean, shout out to the people like Wyndham that have built up such a big following. Uh, maybe I do need to start branching out to the, uh, to the other motorbike games in time, but I'm just I'm just having a really good, uh, good time on this as well, and <clears throat> I don't want to get too into other motorbike games and lose the speed that I've got on this game, um, because if uh, you saw my MX Simulator video, for example, if that's anything to go by, you can you can definitely lose your speed in games very very quickly. Uh, once you start putting time into others, the muscle memory just completely goes out the window. Um, well, let's see actually how this bike deals with this downhill. It should be all right. The, the issue is trying to see where the track goes because of because uh, of third person. Another reason why I play first. You can actually see where, what you come up to. Oh, break 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 break. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. There we go. I'm I'm incredibly surprised how well this is going so far. I expected it to just be a case of I'm gonna to have to push up every single hill uh, have multiple takes at each hill but look at this this is just it's just tracking its way up nice and easy uh, this next bit is gonna be hard like it's just a very very bumpy hill hard to get any any good speed going uh, I'm just trying to look ahead and try and plan out my line beforehand if I go up here to the left and cut to the right around the bumps come on come on oh get it don't fall don't fall don't fall don't fall. Ah! Oh, oh, thank God. No, that's fine. Didn't fall far at all. Slowly, just ease it on. Ease her on. There we go. And uh, if I remember correctly, I don't actually think there's much left of this track at all. Uh, maybe like another, another minute or two. Um, which is shocked me. I expect this to be much more, uh, much of a longer and tedious task than it has proven to be. Um, so, if if you're getting a bit bored on the game. And I eat shit. Let me try that corner again. If you're getting a little bit bored and you want something a bit out there, a bit different, just hop on the pit bikes. They're, they're good fun. They will surprise you as well. Um, obviously, I'm, 
I'm not showing you how fast they can go right now because it's just like tiptoeing my way around up these hills. Um, but the uh, these two straight ones, they can go very, very, very fast. Um, so they are good fun on your standard tracks like your forest and, and all that as well. Um, especially, if, as I say before, if you do have a, a group of mates that you can all download them with uh, together and play it. Uh, it's very good fun. You get Super Moto versions on it, which I've done a video on before. Um, and you just get, you get a, a normal version, which is a lot, lot slower, like almost painfully slow. But then you get these two-stroke versions that are they're pretty, pretty rapid. So you can see right now, I'm in max gear here, which is fifth, and sitting about 60 mile an hour. Uh, I mean, majority of the tracks, you're not going to get up to that speed at all. So it's, yeah, it's more than capable. It's only where this, this track has such uh, long straights that it's, uh, it feels, feels slow on the straights. Oh, I'm going to have to go between these trees, that's fine. I, I want to say that there's just this downhill left and then that's the finish line, which is uh, be pretty nutty. That is, and it's like perfect length for a video as well, like 10 to, 12, well, 10 to 12 minutes or so. It is perfect for me, so let's try, oh, no, 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 no. I know better. I, I thought I'd shut off early before I get a little bit wild backflip and roll all the way down the hill. Um, if I remember correctly from last time, I'm pretty sure there's like a massive log along here. And absolutely god knows how I'm gonna get over it on this bike. I have to harness the power of the sponge on my back. See if we can get there. <laughs> I, lo I love wearing like this in meme gear for videos like this. It's so funny to me. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not, although I do feel a little bit bad uh, not rocking the, the new TM skin I've been made that I absolutely love. I think it looks so good. And already after winning uh, one race on the TM, I've been hopping in uh, in public service. So yesterday, for example, with that whole Linz server thing, uh, there's, there's already a good uh, good amount of people rocking the TM. So it's very interesting to see the influence that uh, I can have. What I should have done is try winning a race on the Suzuki and then pulled a 180 and then started riding the Cowie again and then bamboozle everyone. So they're all struggling on a slow bike and I get to, uh, to ride the fast one. Um, no, the TM isn't terrible. It is, it is slower than the KX, but it's, it's just a fact. It's got one less uh, brake horsepower than the Cowie, and it's also one and a half kilograms heavier. So obviously both of those combined will make it a bit more a bit more sluggish. Um, but then that in turn, it does make it a little bit smoother as well, so maybe easier for some people to control. So I suppose pick your poison. Uh, people ride what they want to ride at the end of the day. There you go, was that 12 minutes? That weren't bad at all. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Um, and that'll do it for this one. Nice, nice short and sweet. Something a little bit fun. I uh, hope you've in enjoyed that, a little bit different, and that was actually like really surprising just how, uh, well, not, not, it wasn't like super easy, but it was, uh, there was some parts that were definitely easier than riding the big bikes, the, the steep up hills especially. Um, so yeah, I will put the links to uh, everything that I am using in the description. Um, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll try and find the SpongeBob gear as well if I can, no promises on that one though. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you for watching the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you're new around here, like if, if, even if you've watched a couple of videos and you're not sure, um, just just drop a sub, you know, it's, it, it won't hurt you at the end of the day. You can always uns unsubscribe at a later date if you're not feeling it. Um, but it would mean the world to me to get those uh, get those subs coming in. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. It always helps get the, the video out there to more people, the more interaction it has. So the comments... Oh my god, hang on, this is a sick wheelie, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> the comments and the likes go a very long way in helping the channel grow, and I appreciate all of you that do so. Um, so wherever you're from, I uh, hope you have a lovely day evening afternoon night uh until i cook yeah english i'm i'm actually sh i'm shit at these i shouldn't be doing youtube <laughs> until i catch you guys next time peace Got bad shit all up in my mind right now Fuck it, give me a minute and I'ma let it all out I don't give a shit about an opinion Be another dimension when I wake up, wake up, wake up oh, Bitch, it's time to fill the cup Got no fucking love I feel so stuck on my luck Get fucked